Social content management. When we think of the word social, we think of things that are fluid, things that change over time. We think of living organisms. We think of people. And people are the core of our businesses. And people by nature are social beings. They like to share their ideas. They'll share their, their concepts and what they've learned. And because of that, these social networks are quite popular in the consumer space. But now we're, uh, we're faced with how do we actually bring that crowdsourcing, that ability to, to tap the crowds, the social capital, into our businesses. When we look at the other part of this, the content management end, content management is something that's been around for a while. It's the idea of taking that knowledge, taking the creation, and actually doing something with it, uh, storing it for future use, and, and using it in, in making decisions. And because of that, many companies have uh, valuable content assets that they've, they've uh, gathered over time. Uh, could be uh, the results of imaging systems. It could be document management systems over time, knowledge management systems that we've had around. And we need to be able to leverage these assets. These are things that we've we've often done in departments or in small areas, but we have to leverage them throughout our organization. And to do that, we have to. It has to be easy and natural uh, for the common person within the organization to access some of this information. It's going to have to be very simple, very much like they're used to um, getting to information in their social networks. And even more importantly, it has to be in the context of their business. And so, as they do their work on a daily basis, it has to be integrated into what they do. So IBM has developed a social content management solution. It's taken a people-centric approach to a content management need. Again, if we look at people being the core of the business, we allow you to actually do things with social networks such as we allow you to do things with uh, profile pages. This happens to be a profile page and on this I'm actually adding um, a tag, a tag to a person, not to a piece of content. I'm describing this individual for what they're known for, what they, what I know them for. Uh, also within a person's profile, they can have things like their background information. Not just what am I doing today, but what have I done in the past? Where is my skills and my resources? How might I be used in the organization at a, at a later time? I also want to know who I'm connected to, who are my network contacts, who are the people, and these aren't just the people in my organization, but who are the people that I work with on a daily basis that I'm associated with. And from any one of these, these people, I can actually drill down and see more about not just who this person is and who they report to or maybe how to contact them, but I can actually see information about their background, of what they're interested in. This is my network of people. And by nature, we said people are social. And that actually carries out by the fact that with our systems, we allow people to do things like understand what's happening in a social network. This is, happens to be my, my home page of my social network where I see my status updates. This is what I'm doing and this is what others are doing. I'll post things about what I'm doing and others will then comment. Um, Lewis, I see you're going to visit a customer. Uh, you ought to talk to them about this aspect while you're there. Or Lewis, I, I understand that you're um, working on a particular project. Um, here's someone else you should look at uh, and maybe helping you with that project. So status updates is part of that social awareness. I can use things like news feeds to get the latest information of what my people in my network are doing and what activities they're involved in. And likewise, we can allow you to use different tools to pull all this together into a single view so that from one page I can look at my my bookmarks what have other people tagged I can look at communities and the activities that's happening there and I and from a community perspective um, I can actually go to communities and take a look for instance here's an uh, uh, air transportation system community I'm, I'm, go, I'm a member of and I'm going to go visit that just to see what's happening within this community and we'll talk more about communities in just a second the, the social networks on the rise in the consumer space, one of the things that's very popular in, in the consumer networks is this ability of communities, people getting together uh, with a common bond, a common interest. And likewise, within our system, you can have these communities. So inside of this particular community, um, I might have interest in looking at things like discussion forums. What are people talking about? Are there questions that maybe are is being posted? I might want to post a question about a particular topic. I'd do that here. I'd find my answers. Likewise, we do have social tools like blogs. And a blog is nothing more than there's just an entry point. Here's uh, some information that we might want to talk about, something that I've observed. And these blogs even have social aspects. It's not just pushing the information out there it's actually having a conversation here we see social comments of people who've actually talked about uh, uh, and given their feedback on this particular blog entry so again a social concept of not just having a piece of content but actually opening it up for a conversation where you can actually garner the input from people and again this is what people are interested in when they think about a social network and we've already seen these are things that are being done in the business so you've got to leverage this in the business a couple of ways other than just 
publishing information and putting stuff out there as far as communities are concerned, you can actually garner ideas. Uh, within this community, I'm showing you an ideation blog. And much like the blog we saw earlier where I actually just put an idea out here, this may be what we would call at IBM an idea jam. This is the ability where we've, we've reached out and we've said we want people to contribute ideas about the next generation air transport system. And so people are writing blog articles about what's going on. And then other people like myself can come in and actually participate. I can add an article or maybe I want to vote on an article. And by voting on it, I'm giving it my approval and my rating. And by doing so, the entire community can benefit by the fact of the most highly rated or the most highly voted on pieces can go forward as projects. In fact, our systems allow you to automatically progress these things from a blog entry, say, into a social activity with a complete set of tasks that need to be done. Another aspect that's very common within communities is sharing of ideas, and some of these ideas may be in forms of bookmarks, where you find a piece of information, it's out on the intranet, it's a web page, an article, anything that's URL addressable, I can actually socially bookmark, and much like I would do it in my browser, I'm now just pointing my entire community at this particular piece of information and sharing it with them. A another great uh, and very quick social tool. And of course, what social without media? And so media gallery is part of what we offer uh, in the social tool. In this case, we actually allow you to put things like videos and, and um, uh, pictures and so forth in a way that you can actually peruse through them, you can preview them. And again, it's the idea of grabbing information that's appropriate and in a very easy way, uh, sharing that and letting people comment on it and communicate about it, which is where the, um, uh, the ideas come from within an organization. So again, Using um, using people, using communities, and using these social tools is uh, is what most people are looking for. And then likewise, people have stuff. They have files. They have uh, PDFs. They have documents. They have other things. And this is uh, part of the content piece we'll get to later. But this is, uh, we think, more in terms of social sharing of, of documents where um, I just have a personal file. It's not yet an enterprise document. It's just something that me and two other people are going to talk about. And so I want to have a place to share that and put that and securely be able to access it and get comments on it. And so we off offer these social files as well. If we look at the content assets piece, now, now we're moving to the more of the content side of this. You have a lot of information you've invested in. And what we're going to look at actually is a, is a FileNet system. And this is a u user interface from a FileNet client. And what I'm showing here is actually there is a FileNet system that's in place. And inside of that, there's folder structures, there's document structures, there's documents. And from these documents, I can access them. I can look at the extended properties of the document, which is very much a content-focused thing where I want to have a lot of metadata about a particular file. Uh, basically within my file net system here I have this folder inside of legal called information handling and inside of this folder I have these three documents. Um, this is not unlike many content systems uh, that, that our companies have. In fact we have a number of, uh, of companies that have our file net system in place and they have a wealth of uh, valuable information inside of these repositories and this might be how they would access them today with this file with file net workplace XT system. But the challenge now is we need to leverage that throughout the organization. And so where some people might use the Workplace XT client, we have others that may want to do this through a social solution. And if we look at the same information, but now we're going to go through a community, and inside of a community I have a library. And the library is nothing more than pointing back to that FileNet system. Unknown to the customer, unknown to the user, they're actually looking at information that's in a FileNet repository. So those same three documents that we saw earlier is now showing up here in the context of my social community. The document that's checked out is still there. If I look and say I want to edit the properties, I can access to the same information, I can access the same metadata, but I'm doing it more in a social setting, more in the context of my community. If I want to add a document, much like I would add a document to any social system, I just pick on a document, say I want to add it, give it some tags if I'd like, check it in, and it's automatically added into that enterprise content system, my my corporate uh, enterprise system. And if actually if I go over and refresh my FileNet system, I'll see that it's there. And so just that easy, I've actually added a document into my corporate enterprise system. And I've done that without even having to know, uh, for instance, this particular UI, without even having to go here, the document's been introduced into the enterprise system. 
and you saw where it's kind of easy and natural. Um, it is very easy to put stuff in from your corporate system, but we even go beyond that. A lot of what you do is in the in the area of creation. So I'm inside of Microsoft Word, or I'm inside of, of an authoring client, or inside of my notes, or Outlook, or, or or whatever system, and I'd like to be able to access the information that's there. Here I'm in a Microsoft Word document, and I have the ability from here to actually to add this document directly into my enterprise content system. So you see the folders there. Um, I just put it into information handling. Um, the document document types, all the, the constructs that are there with my content system is available through my social network. And by doing this, I can do things like add descriptions, metadata, and whatnot. But in the end of this process, very much like I would normally just add a document to my hard drive, I'm now saving it to my corporate enterprise repository. The value of this is, number one, it's in my enterprise repository. So if we do a refresh here, we'll see that it's actually there. It's in the repository. But even more importantly, if I go over to my social system, back to my community, and I were to take a look there, I will see that the document that I just entered is actually resident now inside of my social system. So from, from Microsoft Word, from Symfony, and from desktop applications, I can easily add content, and it becomes immediately available within the context of my social community. And again, from the social community, I have the many of the same capabilities that I would have um, uh, from the, the document systems. If I go back to my office environment, and I notice that now as part of uh, it being introduced into a content system, I have the ability to check it in. If I check this in, uh, it will then refresh the document. It will put it back. And if you notice now, uh, the flag that was previously there on that FRR document that said it was draft, it has now been removed because the document has been checked in and it's part of the corporate repository. And again, if I go back to the FileNet system, you'll see the same thing happen. So again, it's coordinating between the desktop application, the FileNet content repository, repository and the social system um, all in tandem so that uh, from any aspect of this I have access, easy access to the information uh, not just to get to it but actually to use it. And again, in the context of your business, we saw that from a social aspect, it's very easy to get to this. We saw from an authoring access how easy it is to get to this. And even more importantly, it needs to be integrated even deeper. And I'll just show you an example. This happens to be my uh, internet access within IBM. If you'll notice, this is uh, my IBM workplace. This is where I work. This is our portal. And from the portal, I have information that I would normally get about my business, about what's going on. But if you notice, a majority of the screen, the center part in particular, is, is filled with things like, what are you doing? So if I put in here what's, hap what's happening, um, that's actually sharing to my social network. I'm not in a social application at this point. I'm actually letting my application, my portal application, be social. And likewise, with that, I can do things like search for people. I can search for information. And for, for instance, if I search for a person, this is actually going to go out and check my social network. Uh, I find an individual, Brian Pearson in this case, and from here I can access his information. I can access who he is, what's going on. And likewise, throughout my portal, I have the ability to do things like embed searches for things like communities and profiles and blogs and content. So it's important that this all not just fit individually, not just work independently, but that they all work in concert with one another and that it's integrated in the context of the work that I do. So IBM Social Content Management is not just content and it's not just social. It focuses on your people, but yet it uses your content assets that you currently have. It supports your people's social nature and it leverages the content assets that you've had around for a while through these social solutions. It gives you all the popular social tools, blogs and wikis and forums, but it makes all all of this um, accessible and easy to get to from desktop applications through Windows Explorer and email clients. It really allows you to leverage your social inside of your business, inside of your calendars and activities and email, and which is the context of the business that you do. We're not asking you for to, to, to make uh, and change your business. We're actually saying take what you have in your business, take the assets, the content that you have, and make that more social. So at this point, we normally ask for questions, but I would just ask that you would please allow us to uh, help you. If you have any interest, uh, please check us out at ibm.com uh, slash social. Thank you.